Hello and welcome everybody. Another episode of Surviving Japan. This time around it's about bills, bills, bills. So I'm gonna talk about how much I spend over the course of a year. I've been waiting for this, uh, to do this video um, for a year now because obviously I've been in Japan for well over a year, over like a year and two months now kind of. But obviously I had to wait for most of the bills to come in. For example, at my new place, uh, the water or the sewerage bill comes in every two months. So that happened. But finally I got all the bills and I have the information. So let's jump right into this one. First off, let's start out with um, electricity. Why not? Everyone likes electricity and everybody uses electricity. Uh, let's see. So back in, oh, by the way, so I came here last year, March, but then the first month was basically covered by my company. I, the company that made the visa for me actually gave me a, a month of shukusha, which is, well, basically lodging at uh, a company owned apartment. So I didn't have to pay anything for it. And I can't remember the numbers, but they weren't too significant because I was really trying to uh, not use that much like electricity like I was humble and I'm still humble but a little less humble than I was a year back so probably I spent like maybe 70 percent uh, we, we're gonna get to March soon enough and then uh, I'll probably try to remember how much I spent back then one year ago compared to this year anyhow so this is, uh, yeah, this is not a bill. Okay, great. How about this? Because you just get so much crap. Yeah, these are not bills. One thing I hate about Japan is that it just, uh, they have so much, like, so much bureaucracy and it's just too much. But um, Japanese people I love to cock it in, but... I mean, it gets to the point where it's just not fun anymore. There we go. All right. I actually did, did some preparation towards this. Like, I sorted my bills, but still, it's, uh, it's a mess. So, um, so, last year, 2017, and I will try to keep... Uh, I, I want you to keep in mind that um, this is, at that point, like, everything changes... Everything gets obviously uh, increased over time because of inflation and all that stuff. But this is the situation 2017 April, which is, yeah, it's, wait, uh, oh yeah, the April one because uh, merch was covered by the company. So the April one for electricity, uh, I paid 1,237 yen. Okay, that's how much I paid. Uh, 47 kilowatts per hour. And that is a, by the way, that's a 20 ampere um, contract. Uh, you can get, um, I guess, up to whatever you want, but usually it's like 20 or 30 amperes, maybe up to 50. I mean, it depends how big your flat is. I mean, 20 amperes is pretty good for a 1k 1r so you don't really have to get more amper unless you're i don't know <laughs> using free vacuum cleaners at the same time or something but yeah so 1,237. Uh, that's not too bad that's for april and that's just payment because i still didn't have my automatic um, bank transfer set up so at that point they basically send you a bill you go to the company and then you pay it and yep may 2017 which is 29th of um year of um the current emperor who is actually going to be changed next year so i heard uh hey say basically so the heisei 29th year of 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 the emperor heisei uh 1165 yen 32 kilowatts per hour 
Uh, at this point, it's basically spring, obviously. And spring is pretty nice because you don't have to use uh, heating and you still don't have to use any cooling system. So basically all this is uh, just like a, there's a Kihon uh, Ryokin, which is the base, which is for me is 500. Well, it depends on each month, it seems like. For example, it was 390 sorry 386 yen for for april and uh, for may for some reason it's uh, 561 now whatever and then you get some kind of waribiki and then uh, whatever it's just I mean, you, you can read all this it's not that important to understand but there's a base that you have to pay even if you use or not obviously and then whatever you use you pay on top of that so this is not too bad this is pretty good. This didn't cost me too much. And then came June. 45 kilowatts per hour. Yeah, and that's 1,365. Now, again, this really varies on your own, uh, own usage. I mean, I'm not sure why I did use so much in April. Pro well, I guess April was still a bit cold, so I might have used some some aircon heating, which is, by the way, the worst kind of heating you can use. I I, I advise you to uh, buy a a, a uh, heating table or a, a heating blanket. Uh, kotatsu? Yeah, it's definitely kotatsu, not kotatsu. I, I always mix that up. Let me just quickly say kotatsu. Yep, kotatsu. Table with heater. There you go. Kotetsu is basically a, a sword, uh, a f famous sword, whatever. So yeah, 1,365. So probably April was like, well, I still felt a bit cold. And then uh, May, <laughs> nothing. And then slowly we're creeping up to summer. And the June is, yeah, a little bit more. Because I think I liked my room pretty cold. Even my girlfriend back then was like, what the heck? Alaska? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and here I couldn't find July's exact bill, but luckily they print last month's uh, consumption as well. So <laughs> on, on the current month, so I can peak from August's uh, bill so for july i did 2741 right <laughs> wow 117 kilowatts per hour uh yeah july sucks it's um yeah it's really hot here in japan especially the big city in tokyo like everything is concrete and it just sucks in all this this heat during the day and it's just constantly freaking hot and well obviously there's a lot of people living here August was uh, even more, surprisingly, 128 kilowatts and 3,016 I paid. All right, so we're creeping up there. It's getting to that point where it's, yeah, it's getting a bit, a bit too expensive, not gonna lie. Uh, September, 101 kilowatts and 2506 yen so now it's trying to creep down a bit obviously it's not that hot anymore and i realize i'm i'm spending too much money on just keeping my room cold which you can i mean <laughs> why not it does feel good if you go out uh, running in, in the summer and then uh, you set your aircon to like 16 or 18 or something and then you come back home and it's like oh, oh my god best feeling but it costs you a bit more money i mean uh, if you want to really be stingy then you just i don't know you don't set it you, you just don't use it but i mean I'm, I'm thinking about not using it this summer but i think i'm gonna give in to the heat right uh so that was september october i've paid 1,988 yen, 77 kilowatts. Yeah, so we're getting to that point where 
Yeah, October is actually pretty good. October and November is still like you just, you just don't use your aircon. So that's pretty nice. By the way, I'm at Tepco. But there are other like uh, Tokyo Denki if you are living in the Tokyo area, which is Toyoko Sen, basically Megmeguro kind of and down towards Yokohama. But they might, I mean, <laughs> they might have services elsewhere, I don't know. Uh, November was 1,142 yen. Uh, consumption wise, 43 kilowatts. So we're back to where we were basically in April. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of a greedy April. Uh, mm, yeah, I guess it started to be a bit cold, a bit. So I started to use the aircon for heating, which again, <laughs> buy a kotatsu for God's sake, which I will. Which then um, consumes less power. All right, that's uh, the same thing. Oh no! Wait a second. Yep, because I moved in November, so that's why it's so low. Okay, so I moved in basically, yeah, November. Yep. But by the way, these bills are like the ones you pay in November, right? So you could think that it's, well, why is it then? Because it says, okay, it's, yeah, okay, Goryu Kikan. It's uh, from the middle of October until, well, beginning of November for me. So you, you might want to shift all these numbers like 15 days early, uh, kind of, just so you know that, like how this is uh, split up. So maybe that's why my April bill was uh, so... Well, it's not that low actually, because I moved in in the beginning of April anyways. And it doesn't always tell you the exact... Oh, it does. Yeah, 3rd. So it's um, March 26th to April 16th. So you always pay, seems like, from the middle of um, last month until the middle of current month and then they just put current month on it but that doesn't really matter you still pay one month so this one uh i paid until the 5th of november is when i cancelled my contract at my last place which was near takana baba and i paid 1142 and i used i said before 33 and at my new place, which is kind of like a half month amount, right? Yes, correct. I paid 840 and used 33 kilowatts per hour. There you go. I guess November started to be a bit cold. All right. December, still 2017, of course. Wow, 244 kilowatts per hour, dude, heating with the freaking aircon compared to, yeah, dude, what? Yeah, I mean, the highest I did was 3,128 kilowatts per hour in August, which is undoubtedly um, the hottest month. So basically, I paid 6,242 yen. And well, basically I use double. So you pay double, <laughs> which December isn't the coldest month, but still it just went up to these heights. So you pay basically double for heating with the aircon, which is why by a kotatsu. So yeah, 6,242 yen. And wait, so basically my Okay, I have to say, I still stayed at TEPCO, but since I moved, I changed to 30 Ampere. Um, well, this particular apartment is for 30 Ampere, so I guess it might cost me a little bit more. No, maybe not. I mean, um, yeah, it does. Yeah, well, well, 
your mobile phone charges faster. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, right. So now we come to January 2018. That's 30th year of Heisei Emperor. God, God bless his soul. Uh, 331 kilowatts per hour and 8588C. I don't like cold. I don't like cold. Yep. That's a lot. And I could have saved a lot by just, you know, Kodatsu. Or just buying a... Because I, I was actually cold at night. I, I didn't leave the, the aircon on at night because I just... I just, yeah, I just can't sleep with the noise. But some Japanese people have it on all night long, almost all day long. Like imagine their bills. So yeah, just buy a kotatsu or buy a, a heating, uh, a heat blanket, or I mean, or you can buy these uh, these heated water. Uh, I don't need packs or bags or whatever that you can sleep with. Like it basically functions like you put it under your your blanket or your pillow or or use it as a pillow and then it just keeps you warm all night. I mean, I I survived without heating, but it was cold. It was freaking cold, especially in the morning. February, two hundred forty one kilowatts. I think I realized that. Well, uh, <laughs> it's a bit too much. February is still pretty cold. Not that cold, so I paid six thousand hundred and eighty-two. It seems like, oh yeah, so okay, yeah. So let me rephrase that the the thing that I said in the beginning. Uh, I guess the Kiban Ryokin, which is the base, changes on yeah, like how many days you have. So technically, at Takanobaba, it was constantly yeah five hundred and sixty-one yen. And then whatever you paid on top of that. Now, that was a 20 Amper. Now here at my new place, because it's 30 Ampers, seems like that does raise the base amount, which it raises it to 842. Oh, well. Now we know. March, this year March, 189 kilowatts per hour, 4,887 yen. And, uh, yeah, good. Wait. All right, good. This year, April, 74 kilowatts per hour, 2,239 yen. And, well, just for reference, May, 36 kilowatts per hour, 1,000. 512 yen. There we go. That was the electricity. The highest I paid was obviously 6,001 in December, but I guess I just get carried away. <laughs> December wasn't that bad still. I remember January and February being like the second half of December and probably until kind of the end of February, it was still cold. I mean, what, what, what can I say? I just, I just don't like just, just don't like cold. Don't like cold weather here. It's still very cold, but it's not as cold as you would think. But it's because basically, well, aircon. Everyone uses aircon for heating, and uh, well, not everybody, but most of the people use it for heating and uh, and cooling. And um, the houses, unless you live in a really good concrete house that has good insulation, which is really rare here in Japan, because of the way they build houses, because of the er uh, of the fear of earthquakes and whatever, whatnot, uh, houses tend to, like mine is not insulated, like these walls, I don't know if you heard that, probably you did, if I knock on it, it's completely empty, it's, it's, it's nothing, it's just air, no insulation, nothing, <laughs> just... The heat just escapes from these so easily and enters as well, which is why you have to pay more for uh, utilities, unfortunately. Which is, by the way, Raifrain. Raifrain. Lifeline. Is what they call it. There's another word for that, but I kind of forgot. 
it's like you put gas uh, uh, some den den cup I don't know whatever lifeline all right gas is the other bigger issue uh, which you cannot really escape uh, unless you have like uh, an electric heater for your water I'm, I'm just using basically the electric heater i i have a gas condo which i used occasionally but i just bought a an electric tap on kind of like a cooker just like a a pan an, an electric pan which is i think is better i i do prefer cooking on gas but since i've joined my new job i i just don't have the need to cook and uh i think it's still I think gas is still a lot cheaper than electricity. It depends on how you use it, of course. Okay, so let's see. That is my Keiyaku. No one cares about that. All right. Okay, so this was back in Takano Baba. We go back to April 2017. Uh, what's this? Okay, gas. I'm with Tokyo Gas. And uh, again, this is kind of like, well, I guess it does depend on your, on your Keiyaku. Well, it's, it's one month kind of, but they actually charge you for, for the actual month. So that's good. I mean, I'm not sure why the electricity is like from the beginning of month until the middle of the month. This one seems to be kind of beginning of the, well, end, end of last month, end of current month kind of deal. Yeah, kind of. All right. That's great. So here, April, um, seven, uh, I use seven, uh, how you say that? Uh, I am having a break. Ah, cubic meters. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart. Cubic meters, and uh, I paid thousand six hundred fifty-six yen. Uh, here, there's also isn't there a base charge? No, it doesn't seem like it. At least they don't. Oh, there is. Sorry. So there's a base charge of seven hundred forty-five. The Okay, that's a bit aggressive. Mm -hmm. And then the rest you pay. Okay, so it's 1,656 yen for seven cubic meters for August in Takanobaba with Tokyo Gas. This is May, still at Takanobaba. Basically, just to remind you, I moved in November last year. And I pay. Wait. This is the bill to pay it. All right, cool. Because I still didn't have my automatic uh, bank transfer enabled. Right, so May I paid, well, I used six cubic meters and I paid 1,484 yen. For June, I used only four cubic meters of gas and 1,222 yen. That's not bad. Because obviously, well, the only time I'm using it... Well, I had electric condro in Takanobaba. So the only thing I used gas for is basically bathing when, when, I, when I went to take a shower or bath. And um, yeah, I don't really... No, well, because it's not like uh, in, during the winter I like to bath, I, I tend to bath longer and uh, in uh, hotter water after like being outside or being in a cold office, whatnot. So, pardon me, seems like I threw out the July uh, bills for gas as well. But so June was that much. Um, July was, well, I can't tell you how much I, oh, I did. Okay, so three cubic meters for July as well, 1091. So obviously it's summer, so I, I tend to bath um, shorter. Plus, uh, you can set uh, the temperature 
on the thermostat or whatever it's called the thermos uh, at least here the the lowest you can say it is 37 and the highest is 43, 45 maybe, something like that. It depends on the on, on your apartment, but obviously during summer you want to set it to minimum and then as you progress in the year through winter you might want to crank it up a little bit. Yeah, so that means you actually, well, the, the water has to be heated higher plus it's colder outside so technically you're using more gas in the process but yeah so july was 1091 for three uh, cubic meters and uh, august was four cubic meters 1228 uh, well, there. by the way, there's a special deal with Tokyo Gas that you can also have your electricity there, but it only worth it if you are using a lot of electricity, which I don't. So I actually called them up and uh, told them how much I use, and they were like, no, you you, you are better off at TEPCO. So they're, they're, at least there, they're not trying to make money off of you. Or, who knows, uh, September... 4 cubic meters, 1,231. Now these are all low numbers, right? But <laughs> we're getting there. At least as far as I remember. October, 1,367 yen and 5 cubic meters. And uh, we are still doing the, the current month kind of deal. Yeah, kind of. So last month end until current month end ish. November came and <laughs> oh god, oh god! I I started using twenty eight cubic meters and four thousand two hundred thirty nine. Okay, four thousand two hundred thirty nine yen. I what can I say? I was cold and I like water and I like hot water. Uh, yeah, this one, what's this? Oh yeah, I have two bills. Do I? I should have. What's this? This is December boon, so this one. Ah, okay, so the one that I read just now was my new place already. Yep, and Takada no Baba, I... What the heck? Wait, I don't have that number. Uh, bugger. Now this is October. This is... Now this is November. For half a month, I paid... God knows how much. Huh. Really? Well, they charge me for something. They don't... Yeah, well, that's interesting. Yeah, they might have sent the bill later to my uh, address. And then... Uh, and then I just didn't get that transferred. Well, that's a shame. But I suppose it's not much. Because I moved in like the beginning, like the 5th. November the 5th or something like that as I remember so that mustn't have been yeah and they charge you for that current month so it's whatever sorry about that just I don't know add something there maybe well I guess the base def definitely the base which is well I guess a thousand is fair so then again, uh, all in all, in November, I like I use like 5,000 something-ish, 5,200-something-ish 5, 5, money worth of gas. Anyhow, December at my new place already. Uh, the base is 1,036 yen. Uh, 29 cubic meters is what I've used and 4,455 yen. 
And this is also like end of month till well, end of previous month, end of current month, December. Yeah, 4,455. Ooh, okay, January 46 cubic meters, 6,467. So I basically every day I went to work, I came home and I just, I just took a long hot bath because I was so cold. And that called me down a lot from uh, everyday stress and all that crap. Made me basically forget work. So maybe your best bet is to go into centos. Well, I guess, well, usually it's like 300 to, I don't know, 400, 500 for a cento, which is the public bath. If you pay that every day, you basically at this, well, you're at the worst, yeah, worst situation. But I mean, if you have. Uh, one of my friends, uh, what she does is she has a gym ticket, uh, well, a gym a monthly subscription, and then it's really close to her her apartment. So what she does is she goes out and uh, and does gym every day, but she's not working out. She just goes there and uh, takes a long bath there, and then she saves a lot of money. And maybe a gym this uh, subscription is like I don't know ten thousand yen around, or maybe less. But you can use as much hot water as you want. And uh, during um, winter months, you could save some money with that, if you don't mind. And you can work out. Which I don't do. Uh, so February 34 cubic meters, 5036 yen. All right. Getting less and less. Uh, March 33 cubic meters, 4934 uh, yen. Oh, and by the way, at Takano Baba, I had a small freaking closet-like bathroom. Now I have a bigger one, and I just enjoy it. And I, I, I just enjoy having space in my freaking bathroom. Uh, April, I didn't get the May one yet, it seems like. Well, it makes sense, because uh, I'm... <laughs> this is actually... Well, I should get it pretty soon, because it's uh, 26th of May, uh, as I'm recording this. But the April one is 18 cubic meters, 3136 yen. If you don't mind bathing shorter, by the way, I have uh, my thermostat set to the minimum for, for 36 uh, since I don't know, March maybe, but I had it set up to the maximum for during all the winter. So it just, you just use a lot. I mean, it depends on you how much you you like bathing or how, or how you save money. I don't like to stress myself on saving money on uh, commodities like hot water. I'm sorry. You might call me a hypocrite or whatever, a pussy, but I just don't like cold. Especially here in Japan, I just can't stand cold. And actually, the older you get, the less you will stand cold so beware all right next is how long this has been going on 30 minutes great well uh thanks for <laughs> listening until now guys but i, I think i will just power through because it's just uh, the sewerage water and uh, my internet phone and uh, mo mobile net um stuff and that's it basically i don't i don't play I, well other than that i pay yachin of course which is for me i live uh in meguroku near jiugaoka which is basically what pe people know around here that's the biggest station around here and uh, i pay for a 36 cubic uh, cubic meter my ass uh square meter uh <laughs> flat well, imagine how uh, uh, realtors are uh, charging you for the cubic meter. Uh, I pay for the square meters of 36 for a 1K slash 1R uh, Madori uh, mansion type, kind of half concrete, half mokuzo, like wooden structure room. Uh, slightly bigger room than the usual at a slightly oshare uh, place i pay 97 thousand yen per month 
all in all, it's uh, 95,000 yen for the yachin and 2,000 for the maintenance. Uh, so that's that. And then uh, let's jump into the sewerage water real quick, because I don't want to make this too long. Um, yeah, so this is April, right? Yeah. So yeah, April, it seems like they charge you for... Mm, whatever. Oh, okay, they charge you... F oh, they charge you two months, right? Yeah, so this is basically from the beginning of my uh, tenancy at Taknobaba, which was also a mansion type concrete slash... Well, no, it was a concrete build, but the walls were really thin and uh, they were really tucked. Like, uh, I, uh, my room was 18 or 19 cube, um, square meters. And um, yeah, we the, basically the rooms were like in a in a long house style, like just right next to each other, and you could hear stuff. That was nice. Here, I don't really hear much. I still hear a lot because it's Mokuzo, but I, I just don't like noise. I don't I don't like to hear the neighbors doing uh, whatever they do. Um, anyways, so this is from. Uh, I guess uh, March 26 is when I moved in to that flat until uh, 12th of May. I used, uh, well, they don't say, do they? Oh, they do four square meters, no, sorry, <laughs> cubic meters of, um, of water. And uh, I drained four cubic meters of water as well. Uh, Kasuido. So you, th this is basically two parts. Uh, sudo, which is the kind of uh, as much water as you get from the tap or whatever. And then uh, they also charge you kind of for uh, for the the dirty water, the su sewerage. Uh, so it's basically the same same number, uh, four cubic meters both, unless you, you carry water from, some, or for, from from somewhere or you dump it to the ground, like you have a garden or something. But these usually, the, the amounts are the same. If not, I will, uh, I will tell you, but otherwise uh, I paid all for this basically two months, um, kind well, one and a half months period, 3,123 yen for getting water and for the sewerage. Right, so this one. This bit, wait, how did we jump to freaking, oh, because it's, wait, what's this? Oh no, oh no, <laughs> wait, I don't have last month's, oh, I do, okay, so I uh, I thrown out July, unfortunately, so this one is uh, from May 13th till July 11th, so basically they charge you from the middle uh, two months before until current month middle ish. Uh, I used six cubic meters and it's 3628. The next one, uh, August and uh, September bit, I used eight cubic meters and I paid 3736. So basically you can just divide that by two and you get the monthly, kind of. So that's one bill, two bill, heck is this? So this is, oh yeah, this is when I moved, right? Not really, well, kind of, why do I have two of these? All right, whatever. So this one, is for I'm trying to figure out what the heck uh, what is this 
So this is, okay, so this was September. So October 11, uh, so October and November, six cubic meters. And I basically used, well, well this one is not a full two months because it's until November 5th. So this one does 3,424 yen for six cubic meters. Yep. And that was still at my previous place, but for some reason, oh well, they already knew that I moved, I guess, so they, they sent it to my new address straight, which is pretty good. And this one... Hmm. Okay, so why do I have two of these with different numbers? Huh. That's interesting. So I got... I wonder if, the guy, if I got double charge. Probably not. Probably I didn't. They just might have made... Oh no, it's the same amount. Okay, so fuck it. Yeah, they just... <laughs> Bureaucracy. <laughs> Too much shit. So at my new place now, uh, I still had to pay for the November bet for some reason. Is there a base usage here? Anything? I'm just wondering if there's base usage. It doesn't say Kikan, Ryokin, Uchino, whatever Ryokin. Okay, so they don't have like a. Yeah, well, basically they can, like, uh, if you if you use water, you use it. If you don't, you don't. Seems like, uh, so I used three cubic meters and I paid 842 for the November bet of staying at my new place. Great stuff. I don't know how I did that. Well, I guess I probably cleaned the house. Yeah, probably. I don't know why I needed that much water for it, but sure, that's, uh, oh, but that's like one month, I guess. Oh yeah, so. That's well. That's half months of charge from the third of November, which is when I said I will start my contract with the pseudo until the thirteenth of November. So basically, that's like yeah, because I I did come here to clean the room a bit, even though they clean it. It just uh, I just I just clean it myself. I it it feels so much better. Anyhow, let's jump to December and January bit twenty four cubic meters so let's jump that's a jump and I paid 6104 yen because I obviously I bathed longer so I used more water crap baskets oh well it's done um, 2018 February and March bet 22 cubic meters 5,589. I have this obsession with bathing, I'm sorry. Uh, and then April and May, bet 21 cubic meters. Oh, they do charge you a... Okay. Now they're writing it there. So there is a minimum. Anyways. Uh, so April, May... 21 cubic meters, 5,332 yen. Now here it is written for some reason that there is a minimum usage for getting water, 2,920, and the minimum usage for the drainage, 1,120. Uh, this is without tax, I guess, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, without tax. All right, now the only thing I want to see how much was the Kiban price, if there is any, for Takadano Baba. Just wondering. Huh, is this? No, this is already... Oh, no, it's not. What? Yeah. So in Takadano Baba it was 2,340 yen for the base of uh, getting water and 1,120 for uh, drainage. So I guess it's kind of the same. It might depend on the city itself. 
yeah, it's a bit different though. I see. So the drainage is the same, but then uh, the water pipe, whatever maintenance. Wow, that is a lot of money. Actually, using the water isn't that bad. Hmm, interesting. Then why the heck did I pay so little in the beginning? They forgot to charge me the the base, whatever. That's really strange. I don't get it. Whatever. Just pay whatever you get. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a lot. No. Alright, well, that's pretty much it for the sewerage. I don't know what the heck this is. This is not interesting. And these are whatever. Yeah, these are just transfer. Because they do notify you once uh, they process your bank transfer. Uh, they uh, Once they process your automatic bank transfer request. And then... Uh, it's all automatic from there on. You don't have to go to Combini or wherever. But I've seen a lot of people do that. They just pay it at the Combini and whatever. Now the one last thing that remains, and then I'm gonna sign out. Uh, while I was in Takano Baba, I had Docomo internet at my home. I use my own Wi-Fi, and for the low Sokudo, Tushin Sokudo, well, which is a largest, they say Saidai Tushin Sokudo, so that's not a guaranteed one, that's just the maximum. 100M, I guess that's megabits per second. Dokomo Hikari, yeah, I paid after taxing and all that crap, 3240 each month until I moved where I, well, I had to cancel my contract and that. Uh, Again, uh, canceling the contract for um, the utilities doesn't cost you anything, but when it comes to internet and all that crap, obviously it costs you something. I think I didn't have to pay that much because it was some campaign bull crap. Yeah, so, and, well, I guess uh, the lady at uh, the Docomo store liked me or something crazy like that, but that and for mobile costs, I had a three gigabyte per month plus, so it's a, a Tsuva and the data sim. I think I could uh, talk for 10 minutes. Uh, did I get the whole die? I don't think I got the whole die. Uh, I got something like a few minutes of talk uh, for free, and then after that, they charged me and the data sim for the low price of 1,944 yen, that's including tax, that's three gigs per month, and uh, well, they say it's 262.5 megabits per second, and uh, they have an asterisk there, which probably just says that that's the maximum you can get out of it. And that was with um, OCN. Uh, you can get this at, uh, well, it's big mobile one OCN, powered by OCN. Um, you can get these at like, you just go to Yodobashi Camera, well, maybe not Yodobashi Camera, Big Camera, and there are loads of these. I I do think Ocean is pretty good. I mean, playing that much isn't that bad. Now, I didn't get any Waribiki from uh, connecting my internet, my home internet and my mobile contract, because obviously it's a different company. But, uh, here's the deal. Uh, as I moved, I eventually cancelled my OCN mobile phone, uh, my data, obviously, and my my doc Docomo Hikari at home. Because, uh, well, I could have um, carried it over, but uh, they were kind of bitchy about, oh, well, we're not sure if we can do the Consento, which is basically the this, this connector. In, in, my, in my apartment, I have a coax because, well, it's TV compliant only. But obviously coax cable is pretty fine um, to have internet on, uh, by the way. And uh, they were talking about uh, Koji, like they they wanted to do some work here and change the constant. I was like, ah, dudes, no. And then I got uh, uh, a good advice that I should talk to my Kandrisha, which you should also do once you move in. Go to your, well, you, you will go to your... Uh, to your uh, management, your your apartment management company, which is basically not your apartment management company, it's the the owners. So the owner basically doesn't want to deal with you at all. He just wants your money, 
for the rent and uh, the the Connie Geisha gets a certain percentage uh, I think 20% I heard somewhere I don't know and they take care of everything so you should go there and when they give you the key ask them these questions what like what what's the building because usually the building itself has a a fixed contract with whatever internet company or they have recommendation and you should ask for electricity gas like what should i use and all that just just ask them what the other people of that house use because probably that's the one you should go for uh trust in other people usually japanese people are really good at finding the cheapest stuff if they have the time for it right you should do your own research as well and ask around, but the, your best bet, your Kanye Geisha, at least they won't lie in this one. Like, uh, what should I go for when it comes to utilities? And they will answer you, uh, hopefully. Like, mine is uh, pretty uh, unresponsive, but um, at least they they pointed me towards itscom. It's called itscom, itscomu.net. And uh, eventually, now the contract I have with them is I have net at home for 3,800. That's because I I also have my mobile and well, so I have my my data and my my voice uh, sim with them. So with all this package, I'm getting like uh, some like 100 yen like. <laughs> I'm getting some variable key, but it's not too much, but still it's something. So I'm paying 3,800 for the net, which is a 160 megabits per second. Not again, not guaranteed. It's pretty good. It's been quite crap when I moved here, but then I complained and they said, well, they're going to fix it. And uh, after a couple of months, uh, they fixed it. And now I can I can uh, watch stream in uh, 1080p if I want to. It uh, it rarely st stutters. It does sometimes still. I it, During the last month it didn't, but it seems like there is a kind of stuttering once uh, everybody's home and they switch on whatever Netflix and then they just fall asleep and live their miserable lives as a salaryman. But uh, it's around 10, 11-ish when there's a bit of a bottleneck, but it's not that bad. Uh, even for now, I think uh, they fixed it. Um, they laid down some um, fiber cables and stuff, so it's, it's pretty good now. So it's 3,800, plus I have my data sim for 3 gigs, and I have voice, but I don't have any uh, uh, hold eye. That means... Um, Every, uh, well, if, if I if I dial uh, a number, then uh, I will have to pay uh, dearly for that. But all in all, for 3 gigs of data and for having a phone number and not initiating any calls, no SMS, nothing, I pay 1,600. So all in all, 5,400 yen per month minus for having home internet, having internet on my phone, which is actually pretty good. It's com service is pretty good. I, I I rarely have problems with with the coverage, and uh, people can usually reach me as well. I mean, it's, I think it's a decent service for this much money. So five thousand four hundred compared to what I was paying. So let's say that's two thousand plus. So um, I mean, I get a better service, kind of, and a bit less. Uh, price. I mean, if uh, like like some of my other friends, they're like, oh, I pay like ten thousand for, for for my phone only. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Seriously, do your research. Ask your car guys. Ask your friends if you're good with the neighbors. Ask them if they're willing to tell you. If well, I guess if you're the Japanese and you're a foreigner, then they might be like, ah, bro. Uh, <laughs> they might refuse. Um, some Japanese are just, uh, I mean, it's, it's understandable. You're a gaijin, you're trying to speak Japanese, even if your Japanese is perfect and you're all teine and humble and all that, they, they might still be like, uh, what the heck is this guy want? I mean, just imagine you going to your neighbor and uh, you haven't talked to that 
that guy and maybe you speak the same language and uh, you're of the same nationality but he's just like who the fuck are you i mean I, i'm not gonna tell you anything like uh, <laughs> uh and <laughs> well uh japan is um is japan uh so that's it basically that's um all i'm paying uh, i'm not yeah i'm not missing anything so this has been kind of an hour so to to summarize it all uh i guess on average i could say i have three thousand of that three thousand of this a uh, thousand of that uh, well i guess i could make it to it's five thousand so three thousand i guess twelve thousand i could push it well i could limit my uh, it's, it's it's around twelve thousand on an average month and i'm not i'm i i prefer living simple uh, I think there's improvement in me buying a Kotatsu and all that and using less crap, but it really depends on your lifestyle and um, I think 12,000 for utilities is pretty low if it's gas, electricity, sewerage, uh, internet at home and your mobile. I mean, these are the thing. Your well, you have to have a mobile number in Japan, otherwise you're you're basically non-existent and uh, everyone will ask you your phone number everywhere so be prepared even if you're if you think like myself i think having a call like uh, initiating calls on the mobile is like pretty old school at this point i don't use sms at all i don't call anybody if i want to talk to someone i call them up online you know like yeah. luckily i can use my company phone for private purposes uh, well no nobody ever told me not to do it so i'm just, just like whatever maybe i shouldn't maybe i mean uh, i'm not saying you should uh ask uh or just don't don't ask and use it and once you get caught you're like oh i'm sorry i didn't know but um like, i don't think it's a problem for most companies most bigger companies don't care at least in europe they don't it seems like in japan they don't really mind uh at my previous company they did mind me giving the company's number for private stuff and i got scolded for that so be careful so i guess utilities and internet and everything 12,000 plus let's say for me it's uh like all in all my costs just to live and i didn't eat yet i didn't drink i didn't go out i didn't do shit just living on the line and maybe that's why they call it lifeline is around 110,000 yen so that goes into that goes down the shitter basically legit and if you think about it that's pretty sad cuz at my previous company, and I don't mind telling you how much I got in my previous company, uh, I don't mind uh, releasing it publicly, I got around 230,000. Now, if I obviously I was trying to spend less, so basically, I'm, I, I was spending half of my freaking salary on housing and just just living and then comes food and then comes you know whatever you go out with your friends and and then comes transportation luckily usually companies uh pay or cover your transportation but what if if you go on like a private trip like uh, what if you you just use it for your own purposes now obviously if you have like a monthly uh, fixed ticket uh something that your company pays then you can use it on the weekend and uh, basically it's uh, you, the company pays you for that so that's free for you kind of but you can also view it in a way that well you're working for that one right so it's it's part of your salary uh yeah it's for free but you could get that money and uh you use it better like you could just walk to work or cycle to work every morning and you save all that money i mean it's not much for me it's like twelve thousand. 13,000 uh, for my commuter pass. <clears throat> I mean, it's not much money, but if you're the sporty type, you could cycle to work every day, then yeah, well, you could save that money. And that's, uh, that's still 12,000. It depends on how much your salary is. If you're spending half of your salary on just living, getting by, and then eating, I mean, I might do a different, 
I might collect. Yeah, how about this? Maybe the next episode I could do a how much you spend on food and drinks and maybe going out, although I don't go out all that much. I will try to track my coasts there, but as a summary, and it's only been like, yeah, one hour mark, it's around 110,000 yen to live comfort, uh, relatively comfortably in a good neighborhood, which is now I'm living in a, in, a, in a good neighborhood. I rarely get idiots, although it does happen uh, sometimes because this is Japan, but it's a really nice place to live at. I have an above average room. Uh, it's really simple though. Uh, I don't live far from work. Uh, it depends on the morning rush and all that. Usually it's like 40 minutes, kind of average. It can be 30 minutes as well in the morning. So I live, I think I live a better than average life than the usual Japanese person here. But it cost me 1,010 yen. Uh, sorry, 1,010,000 yen. Uh, sorry, 110,000 yen. There we go. To do so. And I haven't eaten and I haven't done anything yet. I haven't went anywhere. I, I, I have not traveled is what I'm trying to say. You be the judge if it works it for you. If it does, and you wanna come here nevertheless, well, then welcome to Japan. If not, then uh, you probably wanna look somewhere else. But this is from me, guys. Uh, food and drinks and whatever. I guess I could just do the food and drinks one because I don't, I don't really travel here. I don't do much here. I don't go to clubs. I don't. I don't go to bars here in Japan. I just in Tokyo. I just don't care. Now, obviously, other cities are cheaper, but your salary is less, right? And you can live in shittier places, like I did in Takanobaba, where my yachin was. Uh, how much was it? Well, it was a lot less. It was. Oh, I can't even remember my yachin. There. Well. Ah, uh, 70 something, well, I guess 80, well, it was a lot less. All in all, I, I used less, I paid less, I ate less, I, I lived a shittier life. I lived a shitty average engineer life in Japan at my previous company. Now I live the above average engineer life and good for me, right? But it really depends how much... Uh, money you can get uh, it depends on your skills it depends on uh, how uh, how you decide to live and i decide to live a little bit better than the average i could move to a shittier house pay a lot less i, I could choose to eat a lot less but i just want to live like everybody else and on that note i'm gonna st i'm gonna really finish this video now because it's been more than one hour thanks for listening guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some interesting insight towards how Tokyo life works. Other than the other vlogs or blogs uh, you might uh, look at, which do not really give you numbers. I wanted to give you something that, uh, I mean, you can basically put these numbers into an Excel sheet and uh, calculate average, median, or whatever, if you are that statistic type. But yeah, be prepared for Tokyo life uh, and uh, try to survive. Thanks for watching, guys, uh, watching, listening, guys, and peace out.